Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Talar Khan here. <coughs> and today, well, you know, it's not a useful topic, you know what it is, but just for a revision point of view, we see how to calculate the area of a signal. Okay, so let me give the heading. This is the area of, and let's say we need continuous time signals in this particular video. Area. So you know how to calculate area from your basic calculus, okay? So the area, let's say I represent it with an A, is calculated by integrating from negative infinity to positive infinity the function x of t with respect to t. That is how you calculate an area. Is that okay? But you know, all the, the, the physical signals, they do not exist from negative infinity to positive infinity. So what if the signal just exists for a finite range? Let's say a signal exists from some, for some time uh, t for, for, for some period t1 to t2. Okay. So if x of t exists in this limit t1 to t2. So what do you have in that case? In that case, the area of the signal would be what? T1 to T2 time, uh, the integration from T1 to T2, X of T with respect to T. This is simple as it is. And the rest you know how to calculate it. Fine? Let me show you. This is your X of T. This is your T. This is the function. This value is let's say t1, this value is t2. So the function exists only between t1 and t2, which means that if the time is less than t1, x of t is 0. And similarly, if the time is greater than t2, in this case also x of t is 0. So which means the area is calculated only between t1 and t2 by this formula. And this is an irregularly shaped body, so what do you do is you, uh, you convert it into smaller rectangles. So let's say this is a smaller rectangle with this length and this height. So how do you calculate the area? You calculate it by length multiply height and similarly for all the function and then you add it up together. Is that okay? So uh, let's say we have an example. <coughs> Let's say we have example is what? X of t is given in this way. In a linear sort of a function it is. Let's say we have X of t like this. So now if your basic calculus is strong. So you can say that the, uh, the area above the axis, the X axis is equal to to the area below the x-axis so this would mean what that the area of this function is equal to zero fine let's say uh, I also mentioned the time so this is negative 2 this is positive 2 the amplitude is let's say 1 this is 1 over here so this would be negative 1 over here so you could say that from the properties of your uh, basic calculus but if you want to do it, so if the area is calculated, it would be from negative infinity to positive infinity x of t dt. But this exists only from negative 2 to positive 2. So you have negative 2 to positive 2 x of t dt. And now it exists in two different forms. So you have it uh, negative 2 to 0 x of t dt. And then you have... 0 to positive 2x of t dt. <coughs> Fine? So negative 2 to 0, uh, it would be what? Area is equal to negative 2 to 0. So simply have a look, it's a rectangle. So you don't need anything, integration or whatever. It's a, it's a triangle. So the area of a triangle is 1 over 2 times the length, which is 2, multiply the height, which is 1. 
Fine. Now you uh, wait. Wait. Sorry. Okay. This is fine. And then you have plus from zero to positive two. So you have one over two times the, the the length is two. The height is negative one. So it would come out to be uh, two two would cancel one plus negative one. So the area is zero, right? The area is zero. Now a question arises. The height over here I took as a positive one. The time I did not take negative. While over here I took the time as positive, the height I took as negative. So in one case I'm taking negative, in the other I'm not taking negative. Where we have in both we have one of them as negative. Why is that? So because that I took it because time cannot be equal to negative. So over here the time was negative, therefore I took the positive value of this 2, fine? But the amplitude over here have a look, the time is positive along the x-axis, the amplitude along the y-axis is negative, which is negative 1. So this is what I took, the amplitude, it can be equal to negative. Is that okay? Yes. So let's say I have another uh, question. Say we are given x of t in a graphical way. This is t. This is x of t. Uh, this is the graph. So we have a, a triangle. This is negative 2, positive 2. This is 4. Fine. Now again have a look. So the area would be... Uh, the area basically is from negative infinity to positive infinity but here we would break it from negative infinity to negative 2 the function is 0 fine then you have from negative 2 to 0 you have a linear function x of t dt and then you have from 0 to 2 and then after uh, uh, 2 to positive infinity you have again 0 so these two would cancel out to be 0 fine so the only thing that remains is from negative 2 to 0 and 2 2 and 0 to positive 2 so I would take two different colors for it and let's say this negative 2 to 0 I represent it with this red color fine so this is in a linear way in a linear fashion so which means this would be of the form y is equal to mx plus c. So over here you have x is equal to t. x is the time x is right and c is the y intercept which is 4. Okay. So uh, let's say we do it. We, we find the slope m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus uh, x1. So y2 is uh, 4, y1 is 0, x2 is 0, x1 is negative 2. So you have a 4 divided by 2, this is equal to 2. So which means from 0 to, from negative 2 to 0, the equation would be m is equal to 2 so you have 2t and c is 4 so you have plus 4 fine and similarly now for this portion which is from 0 to positive 2 so again you have y is equal to mx plus c so again your slope would be y2 is 4 y1 is 0 similarly x2 is 0 x1 is minus 2, so you have a minus 2 is the slope. y intercept is the same, which is equal to 4. So this implies that from 0 to positive 2, you have negative 2t plus 4. So what do you have? That the area now, the area. Wait, wait. Let me remove what? This. So the area, this would basically be equal to uh, integration negative 2 to 0, 2t two plus 4 dt and then you have 
2 to 0 negative 2 t plus 4 d t. I hope you can solve it, okay? I am very weak in these mathematical operations, okay? Even this simple integration, I get stuck. In this one, I also got stuck, okay? Then Meherali and, and Hafiz, you know, they came to my rescue and they helped me regain that where I was lost. So let's say I, I do it by myself, okay? So first you, uh, you give it a negative 2. So, so for, wait, 2t is taken out from the integration. So if you're integrating 2t, you have a 2 times and t is t squared by 2. Fine? So you have 0 and then you have a negative 2. And similarly plus 4, so 4 would come out and then you have a t which is 0 and negative 2. Then plus, so minus 2t minus would come out, minus 2 would come out, t would be t squared by 2 and you have a 0 and a positive 2. And similarly plus 4 would come out and you have a t and these limits would be 0 and positive 2. So this 2 cancels out with this 2, this 2 cancels out with this 2. So you have a t squared. So a is equal to t squared, so which means that you have a 0 squared minus and then minus 2 squared. Similarly you have plus 4 and then you have 0 minus minus 2. And similarly you have minus times uh, 0 squared minus uh, 2 squared. And then you have plus 4 times 0 minus 2. So the area would be what is 0 minus minus 4 it is. So let's say here. So area is equal to minus 4. Then you have plus 4 times 2, so you have plus 8, right? And then you have my, uh, 2 twos are 4, you have a minus minus plus, you have a plus 4, and then 4 into negative 2 is negative 8. So I, I made a mistake. Told you I will make a mistake. You have a uh, positive 4 and then you have negative 4, right? Plus 4 times you have a negative, negative, positive 2. So plus 8 and then you have 2 twos are 4, positive 4 and then this is negative 8. So the, the answer that I am getting over here is 0. But this is wrong, okay? So I have made a mistake somewhere. I have made a mistake somewhere. The answer to this must be 8. So I'll do it again. What do you say? So where do you think I have made a mistake? I, I tell you, okay? I made a mistake over here. I put the limits wrong. Higher minus lower, I put it lower minus up. So negative, now you have a t squared. So t squared would be what? It would be, uh, okay, this is 0 to 2, okay, I put it over here, wrong. 0 to 2, so this would be 0 to 2, and similarly this would be 0 to 2. So now have a look, you have a 2 squared, you have a minus 0 squared, similarly plus 4, and then you have 2 minus 0. So now you remove this, the area would now equal what? You have a 0, then you have a, a positive 4, we have a negative 4. Negative 4 and then you have a two, uh, negative, negative, positive, so 2 are 8. So positive 8, then you have a 2 squared, it's 4, so minus 4 and then plus 4 twos are 8. So I have a look, this would cancel out and you get the area is equal to 8 and this is your answer. That's all for today. That's all about this lecture. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.